Plants are growing. Right, so we need to find wire. You see some of Kelvin? Oh god, how did that get in here? Another one. How the hell did they get in? Wow, that's an exciting way to start this episode off. Right, yeah, we definitely need to build some some sort of defense. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, that was a rather exciting um, start to the episode. Literally just come in and... Um, cannibal, well not even cannibal, but mutant babies are attacking now. We're on day 13, so yeah, we're right around that time where, where things start getting a bit, a bit hectic, so... I know this episode we we're going to go in search for wire so I could have some lights downstairs, but uh, yeah, we do have them upstairs, but we're, we're now getting, well, we literally just had a baby inside the base. Two me, two babies. Um, yeah, that's that's not acceptable. We, we, we can't have that. So I think we, we need to focus on, on more defense, uh, personally. Um, I did say about... Oh, God. Oh, there's more outside. Oh, there's lots outside. Get back. You... Evil. Oh, they're not even evil. It's not their fault they're this way. Uh, yeah, we do need to start looking at some sort of defence, so... Um, we're going to get log collecting, and... Quickly. And a lot of them. Um, I think we need, how much log storage do we have? I don't think we have a great deal, if I'm honest. I think it's just these ones here. So, let's pull the carts around, uh, because they can be used for storage. Oh, it's a deer. I, I thought we had an, uh, another one in... And, uh, yeah, because what I'm... Whoa, really? What I'm thinking we, uh, we do is we put, like, like we've done in here, uh, around the perimeter, so the walls are a bit higher. Now, that will mean... Excuse me. I can't do my crazy jumps over the walls anymore to get in and out. <laughs> But if I'm honest, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make if it means I don't have to deal with babies jumping over the walls. So this might not be as fun of an episode as it usually is where we go on our escapades. But this this is something I should have done. Oh, it's not going to let me because them ones are already in. Never mind. Plan gone. That is not going to work. We need a different plan. I think we just have to lay some traps on the ground. So let's have a look in the book and see what we can use. Uh, I is it this one? Traps. Uh, 
Bone Maker Trap. <clears throat> Why do I feel like that's a, that's self destruct? Hockey Pokey Trap. <laughs> Silent Alarm. I think the fly swatter is probably going to be our best bet. So I'm going to position him a little bit. Ah, oh, I forgot to press the button. Yeah, we can place multiple now. There, there is another one. I wasn't seeing things. Got him. Uh, right, let's get... Tell Kelvin to finish the construction. Kelvin is bloody awesome like that. Like when you got blueprints down. So if we put another one here and one here. I thought I heard something and it made me panic. I'm pretty sure I just had a a baby then. It was either a baby or a bird. I think that many will do for now. So while old mate Kelvin is doing that, we might as well go look and see if we can find some wire. So we'll check over here first. Oh Christ, that made me jump that. We are getting really unlucky. I'll take the printer in now. <gasps> yes! Two locks! I'll take the printer in there. Right, there is another spot we can check. But it means, um, taking a trip. So hopefully Kelvin's going to be alright while we're gone. Where did I put that? Where did I park it? There it is. Uh, there is... I did find online that there is one... Well, it says it's guaranteed, so we'll check it out. And see if it's there. And then if you're playing, anyone that's watching... Uh, yeah, you could, and you're struggling for wire, and if there is some there, check it out. Whee! And if not, there is some supply crates as well. But it's a bit of a flight away, so if you've got yourself a glider and you've decided to be a weirdo like me and build a ridiculously tall tower to jump off of, it's a pretty pretty quick trip. Now we need to go a bit more that way. 
I can see the coast where it is meant to be. So hopefully, when we get there, hopefully there is some there. Now it's said to be on this beach. If I've got the right one. Oh, on the boats. Ah, oh, I forgot they added these. It's the boat from the uh, from the first one. Anyone that's played, if you played the first one, you'll recognise them. Maybe use the rocks to get up. Ah, let me on. I want to have a look on your boat. Hey, there we go. Looks a bit different. <gasps> Ooh, a GoPro camera. Okay, random orca. Oh, these are them, uh, them weirdos. What the cult? Considering they're in a cult, they, uh, the show did have some fancy stuff. Leaves everywhere. Wait, what? What the heck? How would you ruin a nice boat? Sure, didn't have much stuff. Uh, I hope that's big. Ooh, some rope. More rope. Well, now now we'll value on that boat. So by the looks of it, these were the, those uh, suicide cult people. Hey, if you need a pan, why not? I'll have two. Tomorrow. Now else on the outside. Oh, cereal. Oh, of course. Hey, some wire. That was a good find. Now in this bathroom. Another weird hopefully it's fake bird some food pills half eaten toilet sandwich uh let's see anything else Right. Let's um get our glider and there is a cannibal camp over there, so if they are alerted to us here we could be in for a bit of trouble. So hopefully I can get up this cliffside, jump off, and then that'll give us a a glide. Mm -hmm. 
So we want to go that way. Yes. There's the camp. Oh, that one's quite large. Hopefully we can gain a bit more altitude. Now we should be some supply crates around here. I wonder if that's them. Yes. Always happy to take tea. Ah, we'll take the food. Ooh. Oh, ah, but I'm full of them arrows. Uh, hopefully there's some more. Nope. Nope. Well, that's disappointing. I think... Let's see if we can find another camp. No! Oh, that was close. Oh, game, you almost had me mad at you. Ah, bugger. Let's try that again. <laughs> what? I can't get up here now. Parkour! I don't know if it is parkour, but what? Ah! We need to gain a lot of altitude here. And then that'll make it easier for us to spot anywhere where there's cannibal camps. This is like a perpetual motion machine, basically. It does take a bit of time if you start off quite low, that's why I wanted to build the tower uh, really high. Because then you don't have to worry about about gaining height because you're already gaining the height straight away if you, if you know what I mean. So now we're up really high, we can dive straight down and then go straight up. And when starting off, I don't like to be over the ocean because if you, if you hit the water, you will lose the um, the glider. And if you're in deep water, then it's gone. You, you're not going to see it again. So I'll just do one more. Try and get as much height as possible. I can see a clearing down there, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll head over there and check that out. So that might be a camp. No, it's a pond. That could have been a good place for uh, for a bit. Oh, there's a camp though. So I think we'll land near the cliff edge and we'll check that out. I can see a few suitcases there, so hopefully. One of them has uh, has the wire in that we need. We do have a few already, a few bits of wire already. So we've got that going for us. But hopefully we can sneak up on these, and we can pick a few off before. Uh, well, there's a big guy there. 
I only see him. I don't see anybody else just yet. He seems to be heading out. There's another one over there. So if we head this way... We might be able to just sneak in and out without anybody noticing. Oh, wire. Brilliant. That's one. Looks like one of them did notice us. It's called him back up. It's another one. Missed him. Got him that time. Oh, that must have been a clean kill. I thought I just wounded him. Where did that other arrow go? Wanna stick. Oh, there's the big guy. I think he's down. Just to be safe. Never want to take my chances with these guys. I think we're in the clear for now. So we'll hurry up and raid. Some am I'm yeah, uh, ammo. Oh more wire. Sick. Cat food, whatever. So this seems to be a decent haul. Ooh, and a skin pouch there as well. I don't see anything else we can loot, so... I think we should get out of here while we can. Before any more show up. I think we should have a look and see if we can find one more, because that was a... That was a good find, that. That was a good find. But we'll, uh, we'll, so we'll head up, gain as much altitude as we can, see if we can find any more. Get indoor lighting! <laughs> Is this a camp? That does look like a camp. I don't see an escape route though, so I'm a bit I'm a bit skeptical. I don't see any crates either. Unless there's some wooden boxes. Where's it gone? I've lost sight of it. There it is. I can see a coffin and that's it. No, I'm not gonna bother with that one. All oh, the trees are starting to turn brown. It must be getting close to winter. Winter is coming! Right, we'll start, we'll start making our way back towards the base, but we'll keep an eye out for any sign of a, ca uh, of a camp. This one, maybe? Or is this the one that we just looked at? No. This is a campsite. Might be worth checking out. There is a cannibal camp near it as well. I don't know. Um, I'm a 
bit I'm a bit of a maybe. I don't see any crates at the cannibal camp. Let's see if I can see if those are crates. Yeah, those are supply crates. But again, no escape route unless we hang out up here and we make a zip line down. Right, let's get back upwards a little bit. So we can land on the cliff edge and then we can just use the, uh, the grappling rope to get down. And then we can uh, zip line back up for our escape. Oh, that was a that was a air landing. Right, I think I can see somewhere where we could grapple down to. It is not accepting any of that. <laughs> now nah, we ain't going to get away with that, are we? Ah, uh, we might. I think I missed. I think I missed again. That time I didn't. What is going on with my aim? There we go. There is quite a few here. Oh, did I have to hit him? I think we got them all. I did get him in the leg. What a shot. Wasted a shitload of arrows though. Look at all these that missed. Oh, there is some crates here. This might have been worth it after all. Ammo. Wrong place, wrong time, buddy. Alright, let's see what we've got over here. What's that? Heck. Oh, rib cages. Oh. Come on, wire. Target, really. And an energy bar. Oh, this one a good haul. The Knight V. Nah. Ah, oh, that was a... That was a bit of a waste. Right, let's head back up. <clears throat> if I 
can't remember. There's the zip line. Hopefully this works. Uh, sort of. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to get this back though. I think it's lost to the ether. Oh, I don't know what that is, but let's get out of here. Oh, God, what was that? That was a moose. Oh, God, that scared the life out of me. I thought it was a giant freaking mutant. Oh, God. My heart's pounding. Suicide pack. Jesus. I scared the life out of me, that. Well, there's our home base. And there's the cannibal camp that we raided last time. Is that another one down there? That's another camp. Let's get lower and check it out. No moose is around, that's what we're checking for. Yeah, I see a few crits. One, two, three, four, at least four cannibals. I like using the bow because it doesn't alert them. Oh, he snuck up on me, didn't he? That's a tied up mutant. Well, we had to do a bit of hand to hand at some point. Get me arrows back. Where, where's the arrow from you? <laughs> you ain't staying alive. I wonder how Kelvin's doing, because, uh... Yeah, he's been left alone for a while. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I'm sure I saw some, some proper crates. There's some arrows. No more... Skin pouch, at least. So, we'll head back and we'll see what's in these skin pouches. Ah. 
God. The, the, so creepy. Problem is, the more we kill, the harder the enemies are going to be in the future. Right, let's uh, let's head back home. I think we've got a good haul for today. Let's see if we can get the uh, <laughs> get lights finished. <laughs> Who would have thought one of the hardest things to get in Sons of the Forest would be wire? Oh well, that didn't work out very well, did it? That was not good, that Clark. Not good at all. We've got to, we've got to get speed, but we've got to avoid the trees. Ah, oh, God's it! I'm just gonna have to run back out here at this rate. It's too flat of an area. That, oh, creepy mist, creepy mist. Why do I feel like that means something bad's gonna happen? There's a waterfall off, off, uh, a waterfall up here that we can jump off. Which hopefully we don't run into any patrols of them. But they did say in one of the updates a while back that if you kill cannibals, it reduces the amount amount of attacks that you get, and then if you leave them for a while, it builds back up again. So it does sort of give you a grace period rather than a constant, constant bombardment of them. Because that's what made this made this a lot harder than the first one at first. It was just the fact that it was constant attacks. You got like no breathing space. This is what we needed. A bit of room to gain some altitude. This might have, this would have been a really good spot for uh, for a base. Right near some water, so you can get fish. Ah, uh, why did I not notice this? It's the more I play this game, the more I find some really good spots for bases. So, yeah, if if you learn anything from this playthrough, um, yeah, there's a lot of good spots. Just look around. My spot, I'd say, is pretty bad. It's good for trees, good for deer, rubbish for everything else. And Kelvin's gone missing. The heck are you doing over there, bud? This shit for you to get building. Right, I'm locking you out, that's it. The hell are you doing over there, man? Alright, Cal uh, uh, Calvin's gone rogue. So we've got six bits of wire. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? We may get lights downstairs. <laughs> One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Hey, hey, we're getting closer. It's not the full amount of lights that I wanted. But you know what? We've got lights downstairs. So I'll take that. That's a win. That is a win in my book. Just not this uh, this rogue Kelvin. I'm not, not too pleased about that. All right, let's get these, uh, let's get these traps finished off. Seen as uh, our man Kelvin the one who he's not even really gathered any sticks either. I give, I give him such a hard time. I know I do. But he's a big boy. He should know better. That, that squirrel is staring at me. Don't know if you guys were able to see that, but yeah, there was there was a there was a squirrel that was like squaring up. 
I think he wanted to go. Oh yeah, at least with that, that rain that we've had, my water patches should be filled up nice, nice and good. Now. That's another thing. I think I need to build some more water catches. I'm pretty sure I do have a turtle shell that I got on one of the previous episodes. I do. Awesome. Because I really do need more. Uh, this one. That sun is stupidly bright. Where is, is it? Is it in this section? This is traps. No. Ah, that looks like we're going through the fall book. Okay, they, they, did, they did bring that back. I went past it because I was staring at the stone fireplace. Oh, come on, one stick. Out the way. I think I need to leave this game running for like an hour and just have Calvin collect a boatload of sticks because I am running, I keep running out of sticks so fast. Right, I should have had that built beforehand because then we would have had plenty of fresh water. Oh, here he is. Here's me boy. You, sir. Need to finish building structures. <laughs> Thank you. We're in this together, mate. Oh yeah, I need rock. Oh. Hmm. But at least he nearly got this one finished, so I'll give him that. And I'm guessing Summit came and he panicked and ran. I think it sticks I'm out of. I remember when you used to get loads of sticks from bushes. I miss that. That was in the uh, in the first game you get loads of sticks. You get see a big bush, give it a whack, and you got like ten sticks from one bush. Now you just go, Kelvin. I do like the fact that there is a multitude of different sticks as well. Because that is something else we're also going to dot about here, is we're just going to have random pointy sticks dotted about. And I feel like that'll be a good solid defence. We need more sticks. I think the man has been busy because there must have been like loads of bushes around here. So the, the, the boy did do something. I'll give credit where credit's due. Kelvin is he is, a, he is a massive help in this game. But he is dumb. Really dumb. Then again though, watching this playthrough, you're probably paying me do a bunch of dumb stuff, so... How the fact that me and Kelvin have survived this long, I have no idea. Because in reality, we would be dead. Right, we've got six, 16 sticks. We need 64 in total. Kelvin is gathering them like a trooper. That's another one done. Kelvin, mate, we're getting through these real well.
Is it because one finished, so you stood here waiting for me? update is going to bring. Uh, I've not checked yet. And I'm quite excited to find out because they've been releasing some amazing updates. Like whether it be visual or stuff from the previous one. There was an update, well at the time I'm recording this there was an update out uh, I think a few days ago. I've not read up on it yet to see what's been added. I think it might have just been more optimizations and things. Oh, there we go. There's a big pile of sticks. That one needs stones. That one needs stones. Kelvin, mate, I thought you were gathering rocks. Right, we're all good for stones, it's just sticks. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have a look over here, Kelvin. They are not going to be able to sneak up on us now with all these bushes removed. So we need 18 sticks in total. I can find that. Yeah, there has also been a number of occasions where I've been stood staring down at the ground and while playing this and a cannibal has just leapt out of nowhere. Uh, so I'm always, ca I'm always cautious like, since like the first time it happened about looking down while clearing out these bushes. So normally I'd get Calvin to be doing this sort of stuff. Alright, Calvin, I think we've got all the sticks we need. just need rope and where's it gone it's literally beelining it to the nearest place that has rope <coughs> oh calvin mate. i've i've got some over here He's going to be so annoyed when he gets back and be like, whoa, what's going on? And I'll be like, Kelvin, mate, we, we got rope. Also, in case you're wondering why I'm not taking wire from there, no, that's not happening. I'm not taking wire from that. I want lights all the way up that. I want it to look like a, uh, a skyscraper lit up the worn planes flying over. That is my plan for it. It, it'll take a lot of wire and a lot of hours but it'll look amazing when it's done so <laughs> yeah keep watching because um, that that's going to keep getting taller as we go on 
Now that we've got a few defences up, I feel a little bit safer. I'm sure Kelvin does too. Let's uh, let's let him in. <laughs> we don't want to keep the guy locked out. Come on in, buddy. Come on. The heck? Where the hell did you just pull them from? Are you, are you coming in? Because we're, we're going to wrap up the episode, mate. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. No? Yeah? There he comes. Big lad. Right. Now that we're protected, <laughs> we can end this episode. So, yes. We, we've got we've got indoor lighting now. So, happy days. We're, it's not the full amount that I want. I would like to get another one over here. Alright, we still haven't built the table up here. And there is going to be a couple of, like shelving units as well so we'll get to that eventually we will get there we still need to move this one there is a lot a lot that i want to do a lot that i need to do as well um we're still to uh yeah still to move the that that shelf uh, well that shelf uh out the way so we can actually use that space behind there because at the moment it's it's redundant i would like to put like a thinking maybe like a little table and chairs for chair well chair for kelvin uh, that's where he'll eat. And uh, yes, we also got a few defenses up. Uh, I want. I, I genuinely wasn't expect, expecting to spend most of this time flying around looking for wire, but we've now got defenses as evident by the uh, sudden baby infestation we had as when uh, when we started this episode. Um, yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit creepy, that. I did not like that one bit. Um, so, we can't put that on. We need a stick. Elvin, do you have a stick? Oh, it's alright, lad. I've got one. Uh, yes, yeah, so next episode, we will be adding more traps around the base as well. Uh, we'll probably do a few round this way and stop at this one. I haven't seen any cannibals come this way yet, so I'm going to hold off putting any that way for now until I see them come that way. I think the only reason they're coming this way is because we've got a path. So I'm thinking we put some random defensive spikes out there as well to try and ward them off. And as well as uh, probably get a few effigies going, um, which I've not used yet. Uh, so we're only, so we're, when, the, when, we're, when I was doing the, uh, the multiplayer playthrough with uh, Dylan's Crazy Game, great channel by the way, go check them out. Um, we didn't get many. Uh, we did, well, the I don't think they were added to the game when we were doing that. Um, so that'd be a good one to try out for for this series. Try and put try and putting out some effigies, but we need some more cannibals to attack us yet before we can put the effigies out there. So, again, thank you very much for watching, guys. And if you like the video, please give the video a like. It really does help help the channel out massively. We are growing... Uh, the channel is growing quite, quite well so far. I'd like to see it keep going. So a big, big thank you as well to everybody who subscribed and has been coming back to the channel and watching along. Uh, along in these playthroughs a big big thank you to uh, to you guys and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below for anything you like in the videos um it's it's been it's, it's been amazing uh, reading some of you guys uh, comments so yes leave a comment down there and i'll answer it as quickly as i can i uh, reply to any questions that you have or um just any any supportive messages you've got or anything like that yeah drop it in the comment section down below and uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel it really does help I'm, I'm really trying to grow the channel as best as possible so a big thank you again to everybody that has subscribed so far and i'll see you all in the next one take care everyone bye now you're gonna say bye kelvin where's he going ah he's relaxing by the time see you later everyone